Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Alex. Hey guys. And it's been forever since we've done anything with helicopters and uh, we had a boring day. Yep. And we thought, you know what, we might as well go out to Aerotech, pick up a couple different helis. And we picked up two different ones, one fixed pitch, one collective. And we want to show you guys the difference between both of them. This one here, this is the 120S from uh, Horizon Hobby. We got it, this one, it was a bind and fly, and I believe it was right around $120. There is a ready to fly one around $150. Yeah. And uh, the reason I picked this one out is because I actually had an old version of this called the uh, SR120. And uh, the difference is, is this one's fly barless. Uh, the one that I had back in the day, I had fly bars. And uh, I actually think the old one may have flown better. <laughs> I think honestly, the uh, this one's a little bit cold. Yeah, it's, it's, it, shivering, it's a shivering a little bit. Yeah. Um, but basically this one is uh, out of the two, this one is fixed pitch. The one that we're about to show you that Josh picked out is collective pitch. And now the difference between the two is that the, the two main rotor blades on this helicopter are fixed, meaning they don't move at all. Um, so basically the way that I control my altitude is basically by giving it throttle. So I speed the blades up or I slow them down and that makes me go up and down. And uh, it's very, very similar. It's actually the same exact way that a multi-rotor flies. And uh, I actually flew this little, uh, the old version of this helicopter and that's how I learned to fly multi-rotors. It was the basis of um, that skill set for me. Now this one has a couple features on it too. Right now your old one wouldn't auto level, it used a fly bar, right? Yes. Now this one auto levels for you. It does. And it, and it does work pretty well. I don't know if this one is just a little bit <laughs> defective, but it does have a little bit of a waggle to it in the tail. I don't know if that's an issue with the gyros or what. Um, but it does have auto level and it does also have um, an oh crap switch. So right now I'm going full left and you see if I let go, it automatically kind of levels out. Now it does not position hold. This is by no means like GPS hold or anything like that. Um, but it does help you keep your blades nice and level. Did they give you an extra set of blades? No, not on this one. You may want to pick up an extra set of blades whenever you buy one of these. Any helicopter, carry some blades with you. It has a better speed than the... Uh, it does, but it's very underpowered. I'm full throttle right <laughs> Are now. You? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that tail waggle is really annoying. <laughs> now, differences between this and multi-rotors, there's actually not much with a fixed pitch heli. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Is, is I, I'm any, hoping that this is just defective. Is there any instructions on this to, to adjust gains? Uh, I haven't looked yet. All right. I calibrated the... Uh, I, I calibrated the uh, gyros, but it didn't seem to help the, the jittering. Well guys, I guess this is a real true out of the box experience, but I, I don't like that. Yeah, that's not good at all. Um, but going back to fixed pitch helicopters, uh, there, there aren't much differences flying something like this compared to a multi-rotor. Um, all of your controls on the sticks are going to be the same. Um, pitch and roll and, and rudder are all the same, and even throttle, even though this, is, this would be a very, very underpowered quadcopter. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's all the same stick movements. It's very quiet. It is quiet. And one nice thing like in a gymnasium, you can really practice hovering, uh, flying. I strongly recommend that you don't go into big helis right off the bat, but you actually get something small. You could bang these up over and over and over again, or if you get into a bigger size heli, closer to a 300 size, you can almost always count on having to do a repair if you crash it. All right, you ready for this full throttle punch out? Yeah, ready? Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, just, it's just like race quads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the battery's dead. And there you go. Sad copter. Well, they actually advertise a longer battery life. Do you think that was what five minutes? Uh, five minutes. Yeah, that we wasn't are, wasn't great. We're in pretty cold weather. Here, I'm gonna go get cold. it for you. So let's check out what you got. All right, so I had an MCPX and I crashed it. It was a really good I had helicopter. One of those too. Um, this is a nano version and it's very light, very durable. It comes with two different sets of blades. Oh, so this is the nano CPS. Yes, and CP stands for collective pitch. Now, compared to yours, uh, what mine works off of is not just throttle when it's in uh, agility mode, but it actually changes the pitch. Yep. So you run a, a constant idle. So when you go into something called idle up, uh, it, it runs a constant RPM and then all you're doing is deflecting the blades up and down, mm -hmm. deflecting the thread 
compressed. And uh, that's something to be very careful about. If you come into land and you go negative collective, you're driving it into the ground. You're not letting it settle into the ground or reducing your RPMs like you would with a multi-rotor. And now these collective pitch helis, this little tiny one is gonna be the same as those big ones that you see the guys doing all the crazy nonsense 3D moves, flying upside down and all. Uh, the, the collective pitch blades allows that kind of maneuverability. So just initialized right now, one thing is you don't wanna hold your, your machine around. You want to initialize on a nice flat level surface. Always read the instructions. Um, right now, I can move my throttle, and you can see the blades are actually deflecting, but the motor's not going. That's because I have to be in the first click here. So let's go ahead. I definitely have a little bit more power. It not, does. not a lot more power, but a little bit. Well, I think the fact that something this small is flying outside in, a, in just a little, it's not terribly windy, no. but there is a little bit of a breeze, and, and two, three years ago, something this small flying outside in these conditions would be unheard of. And you know, I don't, I have the 3D blades on. I don't have the speed. It does pretty good. That looks like it flies a lot better than mine. Yeah, this has the same feature where idle levels. All right, should I try idle up? So idle up, basically, you what? You flip the switch, and that brings your blades to a constant speed. So it's no matter... actually, this is easier to flip than the, the CPX. All right, ready? Ooh, ooh, nice. All right, I want to try to have this inverted. It is so, it's fun. <laughs> I'll take the, uh, the 300Q, I think, any day. But of course, this is one third of the price of a 300Q. Yeah. Ready? Well, they have that. Uh... Oh, you're not. In I'm out of battery. <laughs> oh, you're out of battery yeah, already. already. Wow, I got one more in my pocket, though. Hold on. So one thing I want to show you is out of the box. We actually had this happen, and it'll probably happen every single crash, but you can see so our little guy that controls our rotors has popped off, so we gotta pop that back in. It's kinda hard to do that with cold and hands. We actually noticed this, it was like that right out of the box. Yeah. Well, this may be a review, but this is probably a really good one to review because they're not a solid, you know? Fire little copter. Maybe it has the wrong battery. All right, ready? That one's not running too. That's one of the charged ones too. <laughs> Why is it doing that? It's not blinking, doesn't it? Wouldn't it? Blink? My SOS call. It's kind of funny because uh, we don't really try helicopters too much, and uh, today we figured we'd give it a shot, and we went and picked out two helicopters, and they both <laughs> out of the box had problems. And it's nice and it's just gonna go nuts real quick. <laughs> what the heck? What happened? I don't know what did you do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the little hubby thing didn't pop out either. Kamikaze mode. So, so the little, the down popped out here. Hold this. Here, Alex, you do it. It's fun. It'll make you happy. Just go. Just, just yeah, and pray. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. a little touchy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on low rates right now. <laughs> is that the funniest thing? Are you doing that or? 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm like full right stick most of the time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess we well, on that note. Oh, man. Well, well friends, uh, long story short, our main goal today was to go out and show the difference between fixed pitch and collective pitch. Yes. Um, this ended up being a review, yeah. and uh, maybe on what not to buy. Yeah. And I never thought I'd ever say that in a million years. Um, for the technology, it's amazing value. Yeah. But what's going on? You know, look online, see if other people have had a better experience. Maybe we just got two duds. A really easy tip if you are going from multi rotors into collective pitch helis, uh, just keep in mind when you go below half, that is not uh, reducing your RPMs, it's actually going negative on your pitch. So yes. it's going to drive it into the ground. Make sure you have plenty of altitude to practice. And I, I only felt bad that we never got to try the uh, oak crap switch. I wanted to have it upside down and see how quick it recovered. But uh, we had plenty of oak crap moments. Yes, we so, did. Yeah, one, let's see, one major crash out in the out in the snow and it really wasn't even inverted. I'm yeah. really surprised that this didn't hold up that well. Me personally, for, for that kind of money, I'd start with a small quad, maybe like an yeah. Inductrix or a Nano QX. Yeah. Um, but if you are looking to get into helicopter specifically, uh, hopefully this information on fixed pitch versus collective pitch will help you. I would probably recommend starting with a fixed pitch helicopter yeah. if you've never flown anything at all. Um, if you are familiar with quadcopters or, and stuff like that and you wanted to get, get into helicopter, Helicopters, you may be able to start with a collective pitch, um, but fixed pitch is going to be the easier of the two. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next see time. See you next time. I don't know what, do we put another battery through it or just bury it? Just bury it. Just bury it. <laughs>